Honestly, the one thing that separated me from the rest of the competition when applying to college was... Today, I'm going to be sharing with you three tips that helped me get into UC Berkeley with a 3.42. Yup, that's right a 3.42 unweighted GPA. Whether you're a freshman, sophomore, junior, or just watching this video for fun, I know college admissions can be really hard. I just went through that process myself. You have to keep your GPA up, do well on standardized tests, balance extracurriculars, etc, etc. And it can be really easy to be discouraged. Before we get started here, you might be wondering why I'm making this video in the first place. Once I got into these schools, a bunch of people at school the next day kept asking me, Chris, how'd you do it? Even my counselor had a hard time believing that I got into Berkeley. After all, I was never the smartest guy in class, and I didn't get straight A's. Some people even thought I was lying until I showed them my letter. I'm going to tell you three tips that gave me the edge when applying. Tip number one, you want to have a theme to your application. I wanted to study electrical engineering, so I gave my application an engineering slash robotics theme. I doubled up on math and science courses my junior year. Uh, I was also the captain of the robotics team, and we went on to win a couple local county championships. On top of that, I won a couple of awards from, from robotics, which really, I guess, showed colleges that I was interested in engineering. So what I'm trying to say is get involved in activities that revolve around what you want to study in college. Um, you can do things outside of your theme, like sometimes I did volunteering on the weekend at the soup kitchen, but in general you want to try to stay focused on the field that you want to study. Tip number two, you want to have a life outside of school. If you're in eight different clubs and you want to try to look good on college apps, admission officers can see through that. There's only 24 hours in a given day. So is being in eight or nine clubs even humanly possible? Instead, only join one or two and try your best at them, which is exactly what I did. For example, my dad and I started our own volunteer repair service for lower income people in our neighborhood. My dad is a mechanic and I've been surrounded with my cars my entire life. So my sophomore year, we figured why not start some type of repair service business where we can go around the neighborhood, put flyers, and advertise fixing people's cars for a really low price. Soon, we didn't even have to place ads anymore because so many people knew about our service that would just spread it by word of mouth and we didn't have to advertise anymore. I was able to pursue my passion of mechanics and engineering while at the same time helping other people. And this is also one of the things I really talked about on my common application essay. Tip number three, have an upward trend in your GPA if your GPA is not consistently high. For example, I did poorly my freshman year, but I tried harder and my GPA gradually increased each year, and I finally got a 3.9 unweighted GPA my first semester of senior year. Colleges want to see improvement, and if your GPA is low, an upward trend can help a lot. If you're a junior and you feel discouraged because you don't really have that much time left, you still have first semester of senior year. If you made it this far in the video, thank you for watching. If you like this video, be sure to subscribe and leave a like. I have three friends from my school who got into Yale, Dartmouth, and Princeton respectively. And in my next video, we're going to be giving out tips, advice, also any questions if you guys have any, just leave a comment and we'll be sure to answer that in our next video. Thanks for watching.